Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to show you two things that are going to be helpful for you to know when building a six-figure product using Bolt.new. Now Bolt.new helps you create applications using AI and it's pretty incredible. Now I want to start with this website called CodePen and it's really awesome. It's basically this repository of all this epic stuff and, and people basically share code. They're like, hey, I've designed something flipping epic and here's a code. So this is an interactive gradient. Well, you see how I move my mouse around? it kind of like follows that around, right? So that's one example. And you can go through this and find stuff that you think is flippin' epic for your application. You know, get inspired, have a look at what you think is really cool. Like, what is this one? Simple grid with reveal when you hover over. Okay, let's check it out. Epic, right? So I found uh, this one, this is a really cool one, by the way. Basically, you enter in your name and the signature appears underneath. That would be great if we're doing a business where we want to like sign documents or something. So we can actually use this code and help us, you know, to develop it with with a bolt button. The one I really like though is this one here, which is this response react dashboard tailwind. Now, many of you have a automation agencies or you'd like to start one, or maybe you just want to work with clients. Imagine a interactive dashboard where they can set, they can sign in and they can see all these beautiful metrics i mean this is crazy i mean we'll edit it obviously because it's like fixed so the first thing we're going to do is get bolt.new to build us a dashboard using this code so for example the way we would do that is we're going to come straight up to bolt.new we're going to this beautiful window here and we're going to give it like a simple prompt and we'll say i would like you to build a dashboard login for my ai automation uh, agency using the below code as reference okay and we post that code in basically ah, there we go all the way down and then we'll come back over to this one which is right here and then we we'll do the JS Babel copy that come straight back over now one of the reasons why this is so helpful guys is because it's really difficult sometimes to articulate to these basically what is great design like if it has a code structure it can actually follow it just creates and generates code that is orders of magnitude better now, if you look at what's happening here, you see all these files. This is, I guess, what we'd refer to as the plumbing of these applications. Like, you can build apps, you can build websites, you can build so much stuff. And it's like knowing how to wire everything. It's like, um, you know, behind the walls, all the wiring. It's like, it's quite confusing for non-coders. If we look at what's loaded here, we've got a little guy in the corner, active automation, plus 5.5%. And you can see how it's kind of followed all the design principles that we gave it and all this great stuff. So we can come back over, we can see the grid. Maybe then we say, look, I want to add a few helpful articles following this kind of style. So I could say like, hey, add a few help articles. In fact, add three help articles at the bottom using the below code style um, follow it exactly all right cool so then we come back over to this beautiful thing here and let's just share that into the thing so that's the HTML we come back and the CSS beautiful and then finally no JavaScript, that's cool. Come back over, where are we? There we go, hit enter. Cool thing about Bolt, guys, is you can have those conversations with it and work back and forth. So is Bolt gonna take over the world? Um, not at the moment, no. The best use case, in my humble opinion, for this is I think it's excellent for creating like MVPs and test things. So it's great to get something that's epic, that's cool. Is it gonna replace, remove everything right now? No, I don't think it is. I think a lot of the other tools that we talk about are still great, but you still can create some epic stuff with this. Like, you know, like integrating it in with May, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and using this code can create something really zazzy and like snazzy for like a first prototype website that does some really cool stuff to validate that the thing that you have actually physically works. Um, and with enough upskill, you can do some pretty epic stuff. So. I think it's really promising technology. One reason I want to share it with you because if you do these two things I'm showing this video, it'll go from here all the way up here and it is flipping epic. It does have this really nice zoom in thing, which is quite cool. So you can see, and basically you would then just provide it with the images once you have those, but basically that's the same sort of idea. We have it, and if I come over to the grid thing here, you see how it just goes in. Really cool, yeah, really, really cool. So basically, you basically pick all the stuff you want, and if it isn't perfect, you can like, act like say, hey, I don't like how it does this, I want it to do this instead. And that's how we can configure amazing stuff in half the time. Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is how we can then link in with AI. So let's add something interactive to it now. So I said, hey, um, please do the following. Okay, and we say, I want a, a number one, I want a form with, um, I don't know, an entrance field with a question. What's on your mind today? 
and then I'd say send the information to this webhook and then we come back over to make and if you don't know who I am my name is Jack my YouTube channel and my school community we're all about three things we're about the latest AI we're about incredible automations and most importantly we are about the stuff that actually works in the school community I've got I have so many tutorials all the blueprints for all the incredible automations that we make so you haven't checked that out you might find it super valuable uh, we've got a lot of really epic stuff happening in there and obviously we talk about make all the time because make is flipping great now in this position here we're gonna come here the first thing we're gonna look at now is a webhook, all right? So we're gonna go down here, let's go on custom webhook like so. I'm gonna create a new hook and we'll call this one, I don't know, AI agency, like so, beautiful. And then we're gonna copy this, fantastic. Now I come back over to Bolt and just say, hey, send information to webhook. And then we say, you will see a response, display this to the user. And let's just say, add a gradient border to the form and of course confetti on completion all right sound cool and then what we're gonna do is hit enter and interestingly guys i know a lot of you want to make money with ai and get started i've done two businesses now from zero to 50k and the automations we make are incredible every ai meetup i do people always tell me dude i'm sorry i've sold this automation for like 18k and i sold this one for 11k and it's so so cool to see that one of the ways i'm building some resources that i'm in my community actually to help with that is a step by step start at level one do you have x like you know do you have this sorted out you know do you have a repeatable way to get clients if yes then move on to level three if not you need to do this 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 and this it's my way of like a literal day by day, step by step, simplest way I could think of to make it as foolproof as possible to help you to get from where you're starting to where you need to go. This is not complete. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. What's on your mind today? Okay, great. So we can ask anything. So let's ask it a test. Now we have to ask away. Thinking, response, something went wrong. Please try again. Now let's check this one out. Successfully determined. We're going to run this one again. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. Hit this up. Great, come back over, test, and it's brought it through. Incredible. Now what do we want to do? Well, we basically like, so think about this. Once it gets into make, you can pretty much do anything. So what I would like to do perhaps then is, why don't we, now we could do things like our databases, right? So we could have a dynamic database of, maybe maybe we've got a business and somebody won the school games last month with this, which was like user generated content. And it was like, um, finding all the brands that are paying people to make like content about that stuff. So you get paid as a creator. So we could have a dynamic database in Airtable where you say, hey, tell me about you, tell me about your background, what are you looking to get? And then based on that, we would have an AI module that would chill out. Uh, where is our AI module? ChatGPT or Claude? We don't really mind which one it is, right? But basically we'd have an AI module in there uh, and we would actually go and check Airtable. Um, so maybe switch these guys around. And then we could say, look, well, based on this information, and based on all this data, what do you think the best thing is? And we can give an output back. But just to keep this simple, what I'm gonna propose we do, if I grab Claude here, for example, and I say, hey, give me a 100 list of the best cities in the world. Okay, now it's completed. I'm just copying the data. I'm going back over to our scenario. I'm just gonna delete Airtable for the purpose of this. This is just to show you the kind of thing you can do. Uh, this is messaging assistant. So why not I just come and add the beautiful Claude here. Cool, create a prompt. Uh, that's fine, max tokens, we just put 4,000, add message, come down, role's gonna be user. Content is gonna be text, of course, but equally, we could do images if you want to. It's like, it is, it is that kind of dynamic. I'm gonna say, hey, based on this question, recommend uh, three cities um, listed from below. Uh, add no additional text, okay? So, cities all the way down and just say use a question is this one cool sweet come all the way down beautiful click ok and then finally guys we add another webhook at the bottom webhook response status 200 and the body is just the text response from claude phenomenal and then we click ok and then we hit run once but obviously this is be running for you automatically in the background we come over to our deployment site and we just say i want a city with incredible coffee when i was at the make event someone gave me a bag of coffee that said ai automate one and i was like that's really flipping funny thinking and has that displayed anything back well this has given us the answer melbourne australia okay that's cool 
So nothing's happened, right? So what we need to do, potential problem, so we just click on it, identify what's happened. So we click on that, look at the problem, try to fix the problem. And then we'll say, hey, um, it is not displaying the information from the webhook. Also, please add, oh my goodness, confetti on submission. All right, sweet, beautiful. And then why don't we just tell Claude, like add a brief explanation why. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I need to cover myself, my spelling, what is going on? It's just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, perfect. Cool, sweet, I click okay, come back to Bolt. Maybe this has worked if I just said like, I don't know, I want a seat with incredible coffee. I click ask away, something went wrong. It went wrong because it wasn't running. That's okay, we come back. We ask away again, thinking, give it a drum roll, error. Okay, cool. So we let it make it know about the error and we then basically tell it, hey, we're not getting information and we ask it for confetti on submission. This will work away in the background. I'm really impressed with the UI of Bolt actually. I'm wondering as well if there's any other really cool things we could add, but think of it like, you know, Willy Wonka's Emporium on that code pen thing, and you can just have a nice look around, find stuff, and start to build it. You can also add in things like login functionalities, connect it to different softwares and databases and things. All right, and it's come back, so let's just say, uh, I wanna sit you with incredible coffee. Uh, again, let's run this one in the background, come back and see what we're dealing with. Oh my gosh, boom, and there we go, response. Melbourne, Australia, Vienna, Austria, famous for historic coffee traditions, for good calf culture. Austria's gorgeous, by the way. If you've not been to Austria, I'd definitely recommend it. And Wellington, New Zealand. For our New Zealand guys out there, we love it. And guys, that if it, that is basically the TLDR, and then you can deploy it at the top right corner if you want to, to deploy the application. So it can be free to share with the world. It is pretty flipping cool. Um, let's have a quick look at this one. We're gonna say, hey, let's deploy that to Netlify. And if we click here, we can just simply open the website. Let's do that. And there we go, we've got our cool website and obviously there's lots of cool stuff in here. We didn't build out the rest of the pages, but you get the idea, you get the theme and oh my goodness guys, would you look at this? How cool is that? You just built an entire website in like a couple of minutes, which is really sick. And think about it like this as well. Like it, it's insane for prototyping to share to businesses like, dude, this is my idea. Like, okay, you're pitching something to clients, right? There's no reason why you shouldn't be using this. Like more than a pitch deck, because it's something visual and that's something I learned in my when I did my last business, either doing fundraising or selling business, or whatever it was, like creating a visual, like this is actually what it looks like, is so important. And now this is actually physically works and we'll just do it one more time in a live environment. So we'll say, I don't know, what would be a cool thing to ask it? Like, I don't know, like we just said, I like Springer Spaniels, which we do. Actually, English Springer Spaniels specifically. Yeah, English Springer Spaniels, ask away, what's in my mind? What's it gonna say to us? It's gotta be England, right? Okay, English, reason rich dog walking culture, numerous parks and pet friendly atmosphere. Cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful week and I'll catch you in the next one.